Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We should have a fine game for you today. Our game today is Brentford against Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday, we know they're looking good, feeling good. They had that away win recently in their last game, actually, against Nottingham Forest. Oh, they were excellent in that 5-1 win, and I think that's going to carry them through the feel-good factor to, to another victory here. I don't think there's any doubt now that we're going to have a, a fight to the finish here. A really exciting end to the season. I think any neutral loves to see it. I mean, it's nerve shredding for the teams involved. You can't make a mistake at this stage because it might just cost you dearly. Check for you on how Brentford will line up for this match. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive this team but uh, if they're on the front foot that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems let's look at Sheffield Wednesday and the list of their players here probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. Thank you, enjoy the game. And let's introduce the referee today, Keith Stroud. First half is underway here. That's the kickoff. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Very good distance to the clearance. Now here's a chance to get. And he shoots from long range. Well, from that distance, that was pretty close. Yeah, it looked like the keeper was worried for a second there. The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They're playing pretty well. Kamohelo Mokocha. It goes out wide again. Now, can he take them on? That's an excellent cross. That's too deep a ball for his teammates trying to get it in front of goal. with a chance it's in it's a great start for them a wonderful goal and we'll now have to see whether that will change both managers approach to this game really couldn't miss from there well the keeper had no chance well it's a goal worth replaying over and over again isn't it Nothing the manager can do at the moment. His team have lost momentum and they're also losing this match. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. For Brentford, number 21, Matty George Boyd. Makacha, Watkins, really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. One back very quickly. Goal news from Barnsley. It's a goal for Reading. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Judge. He's coming forward with some danger. 
trying to pick out someone in the centre. George Boyd. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. Oh, he's away from his marker now. Good position for the cross. Shots on here. Well, I'll give him credit for having a go, but it was nowhere near the target. Yeah, he took responsibility, didn't he? And uh, he'll be hoping it's a bit better next time. Daniel Tudil. And Jones. Alman Abdi. He's still going. Fine run, this. Nice bit of interplay between these two. Judge. Kamohelo Mokocha. That is a free kick. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Gonna try his luck. You can see what he was trying to do, opening up his body to place it, but he's placed it wide, sadly, for him. change of possession here judge now here's a chance to get at the opposition Jones promising build up until that challenge Makocha Clark tackle here Rhodes. Goal news from Middlesbrough. It's a goal for Aston Villa. 36 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again. Sheffield Wednesday man is uh, penalised here. Well, that news from uh, Alan McAnally we had to cut short. But just to remind you, Aston Villa have scored in that game. The score is now 1-1. One, one. Read the play well to intercept. Goal news from Barnsley. It's a second goal for Reading. 41 minutes played. 2-1. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. You can see what he was trying to do, but the defender in the way. Jones. Daniel Pudil. Easy decision, free kick. Late. He's going to have to get booked for that, I'm sure. Yeah, a silly challenge. And, uh, you know, if he ends up getting sent off, he's only got himself to blame. He's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Alman Abdi. Well, they could pose some danger now. And that's straightforward for a goalkeeper of this calibre. 
And the referee has signaled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. The second the half is off and underway. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Daniel Tudil moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Good block, but a poor cross. Gotcha. Kamohelo Mokocha. Good foot, lovely, incisive pass. Needs to stay cool now. Judge. Rhodes, attacking now. He's very confident with the ball at his feet, guiding it through. He's through here. And it's a shot now! Well, it looked a bad miss, but I think the defender just put him off. Yeah, he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, he had to take the shot quickly, the lad who was trying to score. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Can't lose it here. Just booted forward under so much pressure. Now Jones. Goal news from Barnsley. It's a second goal for Barnsley. 60 minutes played, 2-2. Two -two. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Well, Alan, it is the substitution now. Played really well, he's a thorn in the side of those opposing defenders and took his goal really well. Watkins, goal news involving Burton. It's a goal for Burton Albion, 63 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Mahalo Mokocha. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Good challenge. Jones. Didn't want it to stop, did they? And the referees uh, got the sympathy of this match, I think. He understands it. They're playing on. And Jones. He's had a go here. And there's the goal to level the scores. He can't have scored many better than this with the bendies imparted onto the ball. Well, give him credit. You could see exactly what he set out to do there and executed it perfectly. <laughs> 
So away we go at one all. Goal for Sheffield Wednesday, number 17. Watkins. Atty New Year. Makocha. On the move and able to cut out the pass. He's coming forward with some danger. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Well, he'll, well, that's the... Keeper's ball from the moment the cross left his foot. Alan McAnally wants to join us now. He's got a goal to tell us about. It's a second goal for Nottingham Forest. Ten minutes remain. 2-1. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally. Keep... And shoots! He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Double substitution for Sheffield Wednesday. Coming off the pitch, number 17, Atty Newman. And number 21, George Boyd, to be replaced by number 18. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Still, as we are on the scoreline, but there's still time, even this late in the game, for a twist to the tail. Goal news from Birmingham. It's a third goal for Leeds United. It's been scored by Samuel Saiz. He controlled it fantastically in the air with his first. Well, they're in front, and time is on their side as well as the scoreline. I think we've just seen the winning goal, Martin, there. A winning goal, it seems, because we're dealing in the last few seconds of this marvellous match. And it would be a huge shock now if we saw any more action, but don't discount it. Sheffield Wednesday with the lead. Sheffield Wednesday. Well, there's a big support here for them. And those supporters want to see just a little bit more in the time that remains. Well, there's always pressure on you when you're playing in front of a big crowd, your own fans, and the players have shown a few nerves out there today. They've got to lose those. Head in hard and low. Rhodes. Could lead to an equalising goal here. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. And the decision for the added time is three minutes. What a good interception. It's looking good, this move. And now the shot! Turned away by the goalkeeper, spectacularly. And there is the final whistle. Well, you don't have to dominate the football to win the match. This is a perfect example of it. No, there were times when they sat off, they allowed the opposition to have the ball, but really did counter-attack well. well. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift. Excellent performance. Too deep a ball for his teammates trying to get it in front of goal. In with a chance. <laughs> He's had a go here. And there's the goal to level the scores.
scored by Samuel Saiz. He controlled it fantastically in the air with his first touch and fired a half volley into the top corner.